I envy you, you know. No need to be envious, y'all Balgriff, because you're coming with me. Let's go on a wee road trip, a wee road trip. Up the 7,000 steps, up to High Hrothgar, we'll say, say hello to your pals, the Greybeards. I bet you they missed you, you're a good guy! Hold on, right, that was a false start, <laughs> oh no. Right, apologies, apologies for, for that, big man, you just ignore that, okay? You just ignore that, you're in very safe hands. Um, Very safe feminine hands, I appeared very thin, very incredibly thin feminine hands. Um, I appear to have messed something up. Oh, 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 steps are horrid. Steps are horrid. It's just as well we're not going to a place that has 7,000 of them. Me and the Jarl here are going to go on a merry adventure with Lydia. If she ever bothers her ass to catch up. We're going to go on a lovely big road trip. Uh, potentially without Lydia. She seems to have vanished. No, no, Lydia gets to vanish. You, funny face, do not. Mwah. No, Lydia's just over there not doing anything. That's fine, because I thought, I'll be honest, right? Wee bit behind the curtain, peeling pull, the curtain back a wee bit, Belgriff. I thought maybe if we had a follower, we could add a new dynamic. You know, that Lydia, Lydia, the big dumpling that she is, could introduce a new dynamic to the quest, because we've done this a few times now. Um, the new dynamic is that she's going to stand around and do nothing. Look how eager you are to go to High, Hroth High Hrothgar. Apologies. You're everybody's favourite for a reason. He even apologises when he breaks my grip. What a guy. What a stud. Oh, no, 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 no. I know, I know. You've got, what do they call them? Responsibilities and you have them behind those walls. But you're not behind those walls. You're in front of those walls. And beyond those walls, you're free. You're free to do exactly what I say and get dragged around by me. So, so we're going to go do that. No, no, we're doing it. No. Don't a little secret, Balgriff. Don't a little secret. Not only is it not your first time going to High Hrothgar, but it's technically not mine either. I, I took him, um, that Nazim lad up here. He didn't, he didn't make it. So he didn't. Uh, what a shame, what a pity, so sad. But that means we have to find a different route. So I was thinking, perhaps we could go back to the scene of the crime. We could go back to Helgen. We'll go to Helgen if we can get there. Um, we'll even skip going to the pub. No, no, no. As soon as I say, as soon as I say we're not going to the pub, Balgrus, like, I'm away home. See, Lydia just heard the word pub and she's on her way. That's my kind of lassie. A gormless drinker. <laughs> oh, Lydia pet, I'm only joking. I quite like you, okay? You're all right with me. Just like the big man. Look at how well he behaves. Sorry I'm talking to you like a pet dog, Balgrus. That that does end up kind of happening. You're just going, oh, we almost went the wrong way. What are you? No, you look like you're about to teleport. I was just going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's a hill. Sorry, Balgriff. Didn't think I was going to have to do this to you. But it's grabbing by the arse time with my very stretchy arm. That's a, that's a feminine trait, that is. Elasticity. One foot in front of the... Well, one foot behind the other, actually, because we're both facing the wrong way. But um, we'll get there. Oh, no. I said we'll get there. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this? They all talk about what I do to the NPCs, but they don't talk about what the NPCs are doing to me. No, they don't. I'm the <laughs> I'm the victim here, Balgraf. Let's play nice. No, no, Balgraf. No, oh no. Are you in a wee mood? A wee cream puff? A wee huff? Listen, Lydia, don't worry about Lydia. Lydia will teleport or whatever. That's what Lydia does. I hear wolves. So I'm kind of hoping... I'm kind of hoping Lydia's going to catch up. Okay, Lydia will catch up and she can fight the wolves and we can be in our merry way. That actually is a great plan, Lydia. I'm glad you're here. Honestly, I am. You don't look like you're enjoying it. He doesn't look like he's enjoying it as much as he first did, Lydia. What about... Right. Oh, no, you don't. Ow! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Get stuck in! This is how rabbits show affection. They, 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 they just gently, they, ge they gently... This is great! We get to go through Riften. Riften? That's not Riften, that's Riverwood. We get to go through Riverwood, see the good people of Riverwood, which I thought were under the jurisdiction of Falkreath. But when you heard about the dragon attack, you sent guards to, to Riverwood where there were none. So either you're just a magnanimous Jarl who recognised the danger that the good people of Riverwood were in, or my whole thing, stop it, or my whole thing about Riverwood actually deceptively being under Falkreath's borders is incorrect and I don't know where I've got that from and it's just something that stuck with me. You know, the girl's just going on his daily walk. It's wee daily, well, there, there's the local alcoholic. Say hello to the local alcoholic. Listen, it's a disease, right? You can't judge, you can't judge. Hello, hello, I mean, he has an addiction problem but you can't wave, so you know. We all have our issues. Hey, that's also not a wave. Um, better luck next time. Now, we could go up this way. We're an yet another 
of your student. I think that I don't think that's a real word of your student. I don't even know what that's supposed to even try and mean. This guy, diligent. Maybe that's the word I was going for. Well, there's diligent. We could go up this way. I want to go to Helgen. I'm just going to stand here. Have we got any wolves on my side? No, we don't. That's fine. Well done, well done, well done. Don't you think you're going anywhere, pal? I was going to slap him, okay? Because he, he's breaking my grip a lot up these hills, which I've probably cut out, but he's breaking my grip a lot up these hills. And I was going to give him the old laughing slap. And then I thought, heaven forbid a disrespect, Yal Balgriff. So instead, we'll just, you know, we'll just drag you along as usual. Dignity intact. I tried not to. I was all dignity intact. Remember when I was telling you that I was going to leave your dignity intact and I didn't dis want to disrespect you? And here we are, dragging you by your asshole, lifting you up by your ass. Ho ho ho! Okay, we're on to a winner here. I don't think this is the right way. I'm not sure why you would have the signpost so far away from the crossing. I suppose typically when people are walking the roads, they're facing the direction they're walking and it's not as much of a concern as it is for us. This doesn't really work, okay? I've had a lot of requests for pushing and carrying and stuff. And this is where it gets <laughs> this is where it gets you. Right up the Jarl's Gooch. Maybe that's where you want to be. Crack and gooch smells like mead and juniper berries. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Where's Helgen? Yes, Helgen's up here. We're safe. And by safe, I mean probably in incredible danger because it's either on fire or riddled in bandits. Ow! Get him! Yeah! That hunter's crap. <laughs> the wolf's there, you muppet. Skin it and claim it as your own. Nobody'll know. Nobody's going to believe you. Right, he can just claim that and he can go back to his wife and he can say, Wife, look, I hunted the... Uh, 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 uh. He gets to go back to his wife and say, Look, I hunted the alpha male of the forest. The mighty wolf. And she'll be like, George, you've never hunted the wolf in your puff. How did you do that? He'll be like, I did it on my own. And then even if somebody says, somebody, somebody like me comes in and says he's lying to you, hen, he, he didn't. Yal Balgriff himself was getting dragged around by a wee yappy Scotsman and Yal Balgriff killed the wolf. Should be like that. That lad's on the skooma. Well, I don't see any skulls and stuff, so at the very least, I think we're safe. Be the bandits. Uh, 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 uh. Right, can I open this? Yes! Hey, you stopped! If I pulled you far away enough that you don't know where you're supposed to go anymore, that's always good. Um, or, or, or you were just stuck. Yes, I think you were just stuck. <laughs> My other concern, and it's never happened, and I'm praying it doesn't happen, is that one day, one of you just gets sick of it and you just teleport back to wherever you're supposed to be. And I tell you what, where you're supposed to be is in my grasp, right? <laughs> Well, I wasn't lying. Yeah, Balgriff. Why does Lydia have a bucket? Lydia, why why do you have a bucket? Why do you have a bucket? Is it for content? But I, pre I appreciate I appreciate going above and beyond. <laughs> okay, Lydia's just gonna have a bucket for the rest of the video quality. I swear to God, I didn't do that. I have no idea why she has a bucket. <laughs> ah, dearie me, Skyrim. Eh? Just works. Okay, it's unorthodox. But it is working. I just I just can't see anything as well. Can I go forward? Uh well, I mean I can, right? But it's ever so slightly immersion breaking. Besides, not being able to see where I'm going is all part of the fun. Just like life. Not having a scooby what's going on is all part of the fun. Oh hello, Hunter. Nothing to see here. I mean, you just got like an evil blood cave over there. Surely somebody somewhere would think, maybe. Maybe for the sake of public safety, we probably should do something about the evil blood cave. Is that Erelith? <laughs> Is Erelith trying to save you? Is that Erelith? Hello? Hey, pal, are you coming along for the journey? I didn't do that either. Are you set to follow Yal Balgriff wherever he goes? Oh, we're a squad. This is the best. This is the best one. This one's the most fun. Come on. Erelith, you can come as well, pal. <laughs> oh, you dancer. Just another day at the office, eh, pal? Just another day at the office. Now, kiss. Mm. No, sorry, did I make that weird? Right. Okay, I oh, did as well. Oh, no. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all she wanted. A bit of the forbidden love away from the prying eyes of the residents of Whiterun. Huh? Because she has left. Satiated by those big puckering lips. Right, come on. No, no. Oh, no. Why, why has the kiss broke both of you? No, you're coming. Okay. So we lost, we've lost. we lost Irolith for some reason. No, you can't go back to Irolith. Okay. It's not allowed. We just have to get to Iverstead. 
then we need to climb up 7,000 steps, and then Lydia's gonna have to kill an ice troll wherever Lydia... Oh, yeah, soon, soon as there's a bit of graft to be done, Lydia's... Oh, there, you... I'm gonna need you to kill an ice troll. That sounds like a bear. The wolves I'm not as bothered about, the bear I'm slightly concerned about. The last time I was dragging somebody through here, the bear kind of killed the run a wee bit. Ah, ah, Lydia, no, no, bug it off. Oh, Griff, oh, Griff. Please just come along, please, pretty please. Pretty please with a juniper berry on top. Lore friendly begging, that's what we have here on this channel. Where the hell am I? Where's it? Right, I can see Iverstead from, where is he? Okay, I don't see the bear, but I hear the bear. No, let's not wander off into bear territory, which sounds like I'm making some sort of deep Skyrim political connotation. I'm not, I just, there's literally bears somewhere around here. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a tasty treat, especially today with my, with my wee noodle arms. Eh, maybe bears like noodles, I don't know. We're here. Well, we're not here, here, right, we're in Iverstead, but Iverstead is the start of being here. Big lads up there, they, they want to come, I have, I, have to, I have to go and see the big lads and the big lads are, are going to teach me words. As if I need help talking. That's not something I need. I mean, I could, I could perhaps be doing. Oh, he's shivering, shivering with anticipation. Um, I suppose I could be doing with uh, uh, help with um, an, like, enunciation and being better understood and not stumbling over all of my words and not stuttering and forgetting what I was saying and starting a new sentence in the middle of a sentence, letting that sentence go off into a tangent and then trying to go back to the original sentence. That's probably quite hard to follow for some people. But then maybe they just need to get taught on how to listen. You are a very good listener, actually. Or she's completely dumbfounded by what she's looking at and she doesn't know what to do. Well, listen, the, the, he's the Earl of Whiterun. This isn't your jurisdiction. You get to do sweet bugger all about it, which is probably all you ever do. Lydia, Lydia's away having a drink. I would quite like to have a drink, but we should probably go up the 7,000 steps. Come on. They should do that. Oh, no, right. Can't, no, yeah. Come on, come on. Anytime today now, okay? Graceful, graceful as a swan. Yal Balgruff the Greater. Somebody should have a wee market, like halfway up. A wee rest stop, a wee in. A nice cozy fire, cause you'll be freezing your bollocks off up there. We're inside with all the, no, I thought we were inside with the chickens, we're not. You don't attack the chickens, right? Cause the chickens are very dangerous. Um, and everybody gets really mad about attacking the chickens. Skeever! Skeever! Somebody do something about this. Oh, the skeever's running away from Yal Balgraf. And while I understand and I appreciate the respect the skeever is showing the Yal, he is dragging him back down the steps. I do wish he would stop doing that. Okay, right. Have you, have you, have you, have you had your fun with this? Lydia, you let that happen. This is the bumpiest, hilliest bit in the whole game. And what do you lot hate? Bumpy hills and stuff. Oh, this is going to be a pure nightmare. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm beginning to regret this. Come on, I've, I've lowered my movement speed so I can get a better grip on you because you're really not enjoying these steps at all. Uh, but I do want to make haste because we're beginning to lose light. So we are, we've been at this all bloody day. Are you counting the steps? You should count the steps, you know? I know you've done it once before, but to make sure nobody stole the steps or that nobody added more steps. The 7,023 steps to High Hrothgar, it doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Lydia's given up on the steps, okay? The, the steps were too much for Lydia. I don't know how you, you expected somebody who can't handle um, so, hello Lydia. Oh, you're not enjoying this, but you're hanging on. You're hanging on and you're doing it, y'all, and I do appreciate it. Uh, you're not doing too bad now that I slowed myself down for you. <laughs> it's understandable, Chief, that you're struggling to keep up with a laugh and Simon. Nobody, nobody can really blame you there, pal, but uh, try your best, y'all, Balgraf the Greater. Try your best. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. What if I raise you above my head? I can kind of... Hello. <laughs> hello. Hunter, this is just perfectly normal, okay? At the Jarl's request, you can't be mad, at the Jarl's request, kind of. He hinted at it, right? I'm taking him up. You know, you had to read between the lines, right? But I, I could tell, I could tell he was absolutely itching to go on a journey up the 7,000 steps, you know, to be lofted above my head like some sort of trophy. Although I'm, I'm going to be honest, yeah, Balgraf, my arms are getting sore already. I'm very out of shape these days. <laughs> Ah, there we go. That's what they say about Yal Balgraf. Incredible leader, incredible balance. It's fine. This is ever so slightly different than how I took Nazim up here. But uh, it'll do in the... I don't know what that foot's doing, mind you. The thing about there being 7,000 steps is that there should be steps everywhere. I don't see any steps. Come on, pal. i grab you by the hand. Hey, eh, what if we do the old hand thing? We haven't held hands. I usually hold hands at some point. Okay. Where, where, where are you? Try to figure this out. 
Right? Nope. Okay, didn't like that. I mean, it is a very steep hill, right? So... Desperate times. Ah, oh, there's wolves. Well, you may maybe run towards the wolf. Oh, he's not... <laughs> damn it, he's not running towards the wolf. I'll just use you as a peep pole. I hope you don't mind. And a shield. I hope you don't mind that either. Yeah, well done, you Balgriff. Oh, are you sore? Oh, don't be sore. You're fine. Yeah, back up. Yeki. Ah, oh, I thought you'd made the executive decision to go your own way. Oh, well. Uh, okay, this, this, this way isn't really... This isn't... Okay, that way didn't work so much, did it? We're so close. Please just behave, pal. Onwards and upwards, no matter. The t oh, no. No, uh, this is too steep for you, isn't it? Those steps are too steep, so I'm going to try... We'll do the leg thing again. Nope, nope, that's not working. Oh, this is getting worse. We're losing. What if we ignore the steps? Listen, at no point during the pattern about the 7,000 steps did anybody say you actually had to climb them. I mean, they do. They say you climb the 7... They, 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 they say they, you climb the 7,000 steps, actually. That is that is something they say. But they don't police it. So there we go. Navigated. Easy peasy. And we're back on track. Yeah, dancer. I would just become a greybeard if I was you, right? You can stay... You know, as neutral as you want up here. Nobody cares. Stay nice and neutral. Don't get involved. You know, Irrelith will probably come up to visit you every now and again for some reason. You know, read some books in front of the fire. Have a picnic with a big dragon. All sorts of good stuff. And you wouldn't have to be pestered by that mad Avenichi guy. Right, okay. Whoa, right, careful. I get to use my smarts here. Because falling down there, I got a bit turned about. But I can look at my footprints. And I can see that that's where we came from. Because that looks like where we should be going, right? Because it's a bit higher than that way. Eh, uh, maybe. Or not. Uh, it's not really right, because you can see the steps over there. That that's 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 clearly the way to go, right? But still, Al Griffiths are not lore about the Empire having an outpost on the moon or something like that. I don't know what moon. Mesa or Secunda or whatever they're called. One of the moons has maybe got people on it. <laughs> We're not going the wrong way, but we have definitely lost Lydia now. I have no idea where Lydia is. Just you and me in the last leg of the journey, but that makes sense, doesn't it? That makes sense. We started this journey together uh, with Lydia. <laughs> but then we dropped the dead weight and it was just you and me, just two pals, up the 7,000 steps, having a look. Ah, oh, these are steep steps, but steep steps are nothing compared to our friendship, aren't they not? You know, see, there you go. Look, we're pals now. I am shocked you managed those steps so easily. <laughs> but that's a sign of our bond. Hello, fellow traveller. Eh. Uh, your wife? If that's your wife, pal, she doesn't. She doesn't look very happy to see you. That's a hell of an argument if she climbed halfway up the 7,000 steps just to get away from you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll okay. not prat. Right, okay. Right, oh, yeah. oh she's, she's a, a wee nippy sweetie, isn't she? Eh, uh, tell you what, I'll no judge. I'll no judge and I'll no poke my nose where it doesn't belong. See, I don't do that. You see, I'm very respectful of other people's uh, privacy and things like that. No, no, you can't go... <laughs> you can't go back to your wife now. Too late for that. Are we going to need to snow this one? Because you really don't like these steps for some reason. Are we... No, there we go. See, just a bit of patience. A bit of trial and error. A bit of patience. And never giving up. Perhaps that's how you should have treated your wife. If she wouldn't be sitting freezing, freezing her tits off. Halfway up the 7,000 steps. Poor lass. Speaking of poor lasses, where the hell is Lydia? At Goatstead. Oh no. Do I turn around? Do I turn around? Yarl Balgriff. Tell you what, Yarl Balgriff. Sorry. This might sound a bit out there. Right? But nobody's ever tried it. Okay, what if ice trolls only exist if you look at them? You know, if a, if a tree falls in the woods and there's nobody there to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, if an ice troll tries to attack you, up the 7,000 steps, but nobody looks at it. Is it actually there? Is it? Uh, the answer would appear to be no. This happened before. Hello, Lydia. By the Lydia's caught up. Oh, now that Lydia knows there's no ice troll fights to be done, all of a sudden, here's chicken. Now she's hiding behind. I'm not. <laughs> Lydia, yes, please stop hiding behind the pillar, making it look like I'm talking at my ass. I'm just making things up. As soon as you realised that the ice troll has vanished into thin air, she comes back. No one should not get any of the graft to do. Aye. Carry my burdens, my ass. Okay, well, I've, I've nearly walked you off the top of the, the mountain. Um, we'll, we'll not go that way. That's what we like to call the wrong way. I have no idea where that troll went, by the way. I'm not doing a bit or anything. It's just not here. Not even the famed ice troll of the 7,000 steps would dare get in the way of Jarl Balgriff's pilgrimage. Look at that big, beautiful JPEG of a nebula up there. No, that means that means we've been at this all blooming day and all bloody night. I'm tired, and my hand's sore. 
Yes, it is all about me, Yell Belgriff. <laughs> Why do you ask? And I've still got incredibly th thin arms that that just seem to stretch for days. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, pal. We're on the final stretch, buddy. We're nearly there. We've made it. Hi, Hrothgarn. What a thing of beauty she is. Come on. Let's go pester some old men in the middle of the night. Oh, no, 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 no. No, these steps count, right? These, yeah, just because you can see High Hrothgar doesn't mean you made the pilgrimage. No, oh, Balgraf. 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 Lie down and relax. We're about to see the Greybeards again. You know, you're supposed to be going in there showing them what a fine man you've become. The Jarl of Whiterun. Balgraf the Greater, everybody's favourite Jarl. So do you want to go in there, head tall, back straight, like a man? I dropped me to drag you in there by your arse. It's your own fault, Chief. I can't be bothered anymore, we're at the end of the trip and I just don't have it in me. Up the bum and away we go. Oh no, no, no. Oh, he really doesn't like being in here. Oh, 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 oh man. You're getting cold feet, Chief. I mean, I know, I know it's freezing outside, but you need to get cold feet. Hello, I am the Laughing Simon, the Dragonborn. And I brought the boy. Eh, no, no, where's the yell? No, 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 you're too, you're too close to that door for my liking. Strike us with the power of your voice. Jesus! I was, I was just, I was just trying, I was just trying to set up a wee bit. I thought it would be, a, oh, <laughs> I thought it would be funny. I thought it would be, right, so, oh my God. That was a bit excessive. Oh, Lydia's okay. <laughs> I think Yal Balgriff's dead though. Nope, he's fine. So, sorry, Yal, I just thought I would do a funny bit. 